Stand up! Stand up! Body camera video shows Chad Dorman sitting, waiting for deputies to arrest him. Newly filed court documents now reveal how Dorman was acting before the alleged attacks. In one section, it says Dorman returned home from work early, picked up a Bible, and was walking around the house carrying it. The document says Dorman was mumbling, quote, Chad knows what's right, end quote. From there, it says he went to the gun safe in the master bedroom. Investigators say his wife says that she told Dorman he was scaring her and that she said she was going to call his parents. The document then claims Dorman told his wife he was, quote, just kidding and playing around. He then decided to lie down in the bed. Dorman's wife said she did not want him to be alone, so she joined him. A short time later, and Dorman got up, grabbed a 22 caliber rifle and magazine, and then shot one of his boys twice. His wife called 911 and told the other children in the house to run. The boy's mother then watched as Dorman allegedly ran after one of the boys, opened fire at him, and she saw that little boy fall. The document says Dorman looked back to his wife and then shot his son again, killing him. Then it says the last little boy and his sister or stepsister tried to run in the Monroe Township fire station on the other side of the street. The girl was holding the boy as they ran. Dorman yelled at her to put him down, and then he tried to shoot, but the rifle jammed. That little boy then ran to where his mother was, tending to the other two children on the other side of the house. Investigators say Dorman went over and shot the child in the head. Now, investigators say that Dorman then picked up that last little boy and laid him next to his dead brothers and waited for the deputies to arrive. Dorman has entered a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. The prosecution, though, has requested a mental evaluation for him. Kyle, back to you. All right, Christian Hauser leading us off here tonight at 6 o'clock. Chad Dorman is scheduled to go on trial in July. County Prosecutor Mark Tocolvi says his office will seek the death penalty in this case. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.